love one another as I have loved you, said Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And you'll be seated. More than 2,000 years after Caesar Roman, one of the great figures of the history, he shaped Rome and generations and gave name. His name became a, a great emperor. However, there is always someone who is more than that with the capital K, the great king, the king of kings. That is Christ, Christ Jesus, the risen one. We are in fifth week after Easter, where we're still in such wonderful news that Christ is risen. Is risen indeed. Last week, we had a wonderful time, a wonderful Sunday, where we celebrated Mother's Day. And we all know that we are, have mothers who, care, who are caring for our lives. The day like this is the world always celebrating the World Refugee Day. The church has to. We are calling it Refugee Sunday. It's a wonderful Sunday. As a matter of fact, it's to be in a state of refugee is on the heart of every Christian faith. Celebrating with refugees is a time of reflecting that relationship between us and God. According to the world statistics, in 2022, the first time in the world history, the people who are fleeing the persecution, conflicts, and violence have reached more than 80 million. This season is a season dedicated to such kind of vulnerables and refugees with the possibility to make a difference from the excluded and voiceless, like refugees who are in the camps or who have fled the conflicts or sorrow areas where they come from. Today they read an episode in the book of Acts, also the gospel, which was reflecting that what Jesus wants us to do to love one another. Jesus told the messenger who went to John to go back and tell what he saw, the soul, and what he heard. He said, the blind can see, those who are blind can receive the sight, those who are disabled could walk. Jesus was there to make a difference in their lives. We can reflect ourselves through the Gospels today and on this Revelation Sunday, what have we done to make a difference in people's lives? They will say that we are his disciples. When we look the behavior of the disciples and other Jews of this time, his time, that Gentiles received the good news of Christ. That's great. That's incredible. Gentiles to receive the gospel, to receive the good news of Jesus Christ. 
they were touched. They know that Jesus is their Lord and Savior. They saw how things were changing in their lives. The sick were healing. The disabled could walk. It's really wonderful. In that time, somewhere with the excitement that things were make a difference in their lives, their fellow and friends and relatives, they were enjoying the presence of Jesus, that Jesus made a difference in their lives. Others were not. When Peter went to Joppa, to Jerusalem, and they asked him one question, two questions. First, why did you go to uncircumcised people? It's the first question. The second one, you ate with them. Why did you eat with them? Those are two questions addressed to Peter. Peter was good at apologetism. He was good at defending who, how, what he's believing and how he is. And that's, he's able to explain to them. He did it step by step, explaining them why he visited and why he ate with them. Christ said, love one another, was the motto for Peter as Christ told them. Love one another as I loved you, said Jesus. With his love, it is the way, total healing, love is the way to reconciliation, is a way of making a difference in people's life. Love is the way to embrace all creation, to embrace the rejected and the oppressed. Love is to give the space to others despite their thoughts and their philosophy. In the book of Acts, Peter is mentioning, is mentioned to try to raise the issue of space for others for the sake of Christ, the reason one. Jesus is making a history in calling them to love one another. In the eyes of those who cannot get closer to uncircumcised, there was a challenge and a pain in their hearts. But with Christ, they can be released and a joy fade in their hearts. Jesus wanted inclusion to be real principle in their lives. He wanted love to be the only point to love one another. You will be called my disciples, said Jesus. Jesus wanted to teach the disciples how to care, even those excluded. Do you want to be like Jesus? We can. Refugees are crying out there, and others are closed in their societies. Refugee Sunday is uh, always celebrated once a year in every corner of the world. And so the world look not transformed, yet it's a challenge. 
Refugees keep increasing daily in every corner of the world. When you look Europe, the situation of Ukraine, some years back you can think about the situation in Afghanistan. You can imagine even the case of some places like in Burundi in Africa. Where we transformed, the world need to embrace the motto of Jesus Christ to love one another. We can ask ourselves that in all those situations which were happening in all the continents, we can ask ourselves, was God absent? Was God silent? It's a question. But God is sovereign. Is the middle of silence that God intervened and your hands make a difference in the world's communities? God is God. You have the right to make a difference in the world to reduce the cruelties in the world to build a loving society. Brethren, this era is a time for both possibilities as people of faith, especially as Christians. Today we are gathering here as St. Anne. Other people are gathering in different parishes here in Toronto just to reflect how to experience to love one another. Some places in the world, they are celebrating the city, this refugee day. That commandment of Jesus Christ is your motto, is my motto, to love one another. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.